we are just a few months from the elections and uh, Chris Mchangwa is in America together with his wife, the Minister of Information, Monica Mchangwa. And as you can see right there on the screen, that is Chris Mchangwa uh, on a hired private jet enjoying themselves in America, the country which imposed the sanctions on Zimbabwe, the country which is uh, believed to be an enemy of Zimbabwe, the biggest enemy of Zimbabwe. Their kids are learning in America. Their kids are in America. They enjoy <coughs> Americans, uh, the American uh, uh, nation uh, more than their own country. Let us hear uh, the Chris Chris Mchango. So, uh, this is Chris Mchangwa. Nevarungu, the same Varungu, Rukunzi, uh, the people from opposition should not meet. Uh, Mchangwa is not in government, but he's meeting these white people. I don't know why he's meeting them. Probably um, they are his friends. Then uh, we have Chris Mchangwa here with his wife, Monica Mchangwa, in a private jet, and they are enjoying using United States dollars. Kuno Kumusha. Zimbabweans Murupiwa RTGS. Then the spokesperson Winika Nick Mangwana, who is working under Monica Mchangwa, will tell you Kuti Zunzagarunge, will tell you could you have to use that money. This is the problem we have in Zimbabwe. We have people who do not use RTGS. They go to America using United States dollars, hiring private jets, but here in Zimbabwe they tell you you in an ordinary Zimbabwean too. Uh, continue using their RTGS, which is not working, which is useless. If you speak against that, they will tell you that you are not patriotic. They will tell you that uh, they will unleash the patriotic bill on you. That is so wrong. That is something we do not expect to see. We really need to see what action are they going to take on Chris Mchango because he is in America. America gave Zimbabwe sanctions. We expect to see Zimbabweans, uh, especially those in leadership, shunning America not having anything to do with America, avoiding America at all costs, but they are the friends of America. Why are you oppressing ordinary Zimbabweans when you enjoy America yourselves? These are the questions. And um, an ordinary Zimbabwean with the right mindset will think this through and will ask this question and will say, let us vote wisely this 2023 and make sure that we remove a repressive and oppressive government and um, we deal with the problems we have in Zimbabwe, uh, sincerely, honestly, uh, wholeheartedly. So this is it. We are saying, "Munu esenga yende kumkoma na munu esenga yende payelo." I see nyani nyani say, "I see nyani nochiki sakutaura." So this is it. Encourage your friends, encourage your family to actually go and vote payelo, pama banana, pama kumana, the councillor, the MP, and the president.